Iowa at Iowa State. Wow. Look at those numbers. This was the most Iowa game ever. The problem is, is like, yes, they were up like two touchdowns most of the game, but they never sweated, right? They, They played this game, except maybe the exception of the first quarter where I thought Iowa State missed some opportunities, had some drops, classic Iowa State drops. But they just made it so frustrating for Iowa State and where they shoot themselves in the foot, and that's just your classic Iowa game where they just play really suffocating defense, and then you just they make them a mistake. And then Iowa gets to capitalize on it here and there, and then they win the game 20-13. to 13. Oh, I'm Rocco Beck. I thought he played well. I thought he missed some throws. He had a bad pick six, obviously. Um, drops yeah. did not help him at all. I don't think JJ Cole would have won that game, but I think it's I, I think we're gonna see JJ Cole sooner rather than later. Not necessarily the fault of Rocco Beck. I think um the coaches have will do what they have in JJ Cole, but I mean, yeah, Iowa again, classic Iowa. I mean, this tells me nothing about Iowa. Other than this is your classic Iowa team. Like, I, I don't think Cade McNamara is special. I never thought he was. I think, I I do think the offense is a little bit better. I think the ceiling is a little bit higher. But again, the, other than one big run, rushing play, I don't think you ran the ball pretty well. I don't love your O-line right now. Um, But your defense is damn good. And you're going to win many games in the Big Ten West with that. Especially right now with a team in Wisconsin that, a lot of question marks defensively and offensively through the air. Minnesota's obviously got his question marks. Illinois, Purdue, Nebraska, Northwestern, obviously, I don't even have to mention them. It this is just your classic. The 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 way the, the Red Sea is gonna open for Kirk Ferentz in Iowa to just waltz their way to an eight and four, nine and three season and make to the Big Ten championship and get blown out, you know. Yeah, here's how about this? Right, you go get talent. You go get, uh, Caleb Brown. Right, you, you go get some receivers. You get a new quarterback, but it feels like nothing's changed. Twelve for twenty-two. Okay, so twelve completions. Right, six of those. So half of those we do your tight ends, Blackie and all. Well, which they're and, good uh, players. Good players for sure. Good players. They're not explosive. Then ninety of your one hundred twenty-three yards were from tight ends. If that's not the most Iowa thing, if that's not adapting, just it's called just not adapting, Brian Ferentz. It's called not adapting. They won the game. Hell, they might win nine more games. I don't know, man. The, the, this defense is crazy, though. This defense is crazy good. We knew it was going to be yeah. crazy good. Uh, but credit Iowa State for staying in this game and almost, almost finding a way to get back in it. Uh, but, uh, Drops. What are you too do? many drops. Too many drops you... for Iowa State. Oh yeah. man, so many other teams. I I don't. I don't... Jalen so, Noel, yeah. dude. <laughs> Some big drop problems that guy. But it also, it's just it's everyone. So yeah, I I do think, you know, Iowa did miss. Well, uh, Cade McNamara missed. They had a double move. You know, that would have been went for like a seventy yard touchdown. Um. So that, I mean, they're. They're trying, you know, but the thing is, if you're a team like Iowa, where you shorten the game and you only have, you know, 51 offensive snaps, whatever it is, compared to Iowa State had fucking, what, 75, right? So Iowa, obviously, you're going to have less chances and you got to take advantage of them where if you're a team, you know, other teams where you have more margin of error. And the problem is, is with Iowa, they got They got to capitalize on those and they didn't. Now, it didn't hurt them yesterday, but it definitely didn't help them. Um, and we'll see how they, they do going forward. But again, like you said, they're not going to beat Iowa, Ohio State. They're not going to beat Michigan or Penn State, whoever they play in the Big Ten Championship. But they're, they're going to beat just about everybody else on their schedule, you know, just by yeah. playing their own brand of football. Yeah, the floor is high. The floor is high for them. Just how far can they get with this offense, man? What, what do you think? Let's say a a, a guy like – Matt Rule, or you throw who's the guy at Josh Heupel, right? What what if you stuck Josh Heupel in Iowa City, Iowa? Do you think their ceilings high? You, you think that they're, they're a better football team than than with Kirk Ferentz 
give him a couple years to get his, his roster in there. Like, do you think Iowa has to win by playing this kind of football? I mean, we've seen it for 20 plus years there with Kirk Ferentz, but I don't know. It just feels like there's so much NFL. T- I mean, you look at all these lists of like NFL players and where their college is and how many players have, and, and you see, oh, here's blue blood, blue blood, blue blood. Look at this team's always in the top 10 in recruiting. And then there's Iowa and there's a bunch of other teams that underperform below them. And it's like, there's so much talent on this roster. And it's yes, that's Kirk Ferentz and his staff identifying good talented players and developing them. I do think at a program like Iowa, there is more upside than just 20 to 13 against Iowa state, you know, losing, you know, what is it? Fucking seven to three against or who, fucking South Dakota Michigan state, state last year. Yeah. Yeah. Last, so last like, year. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Not that you should be frustrated in a loss. If you're Iowa, I think you were hoping for a little bit more explosiveness from your offense. But it's week two. It's week two. You're trying to figure out. I know K back there's hurt. His quad or whatever is going on. Um, the the thing is, is I don't know how much healthier he's going to get, you know, playing in the Big Ten West. So it's, it's it's you know, a little bit of how, how does he how does he progress injury-wise? Right. We don't know. 